Hi guys, this is Ranjit and in this video, let's do the unboxing and have a first look at the Samsung Galaxy M51. And probably this is the first smartphone in the world that comes with 7000 milliamp hour battery. And uh, here is the box itself, just says M51 and here Samsung Galaxy M51 and here nothing actually. Uh, this is parked uh, thankfully by the Snapdragon 730G SoC. And guys, this is a review unit, so I don't know the exact pricing. But here, as you can see, we can see that the price quoted here is almost like what, 28,000? Uh, 28,999, so 29,000. I frankly feel this is not correct uh, because uh, from what I'm hearing the rumors, this might be priced around 25,000 price point. Uh, anyways, it will be launched via Amazon. So I'll leave the link of Amazon in the description so that you get an uh, idea regarding the pricing. And it comes in two variants, guys. One is six gigabytes of uh, RAM. Another will be eight gigabytes of RAM, uh, but both will have 128 gigabytes of storage. So let's just cut the seal and have a look at this one. And I'm also curious about the weight of a 7000 milliamp hour battery. And this is also supposed to do reverse charging. So acts like a, what do you say, power bank also. Uh, so let's see. So here we opened it up. So here looks like a, a SIM ejector tool or something like that. Yeah, SIM ejector tool. And some paperwork so no case in the box guys uh, i was expecting that some warranty card quick start guide and regional clock uh, locking guide that's it so here is the device itself uh, and in this new color let's just open this up and have a look and uh, this looks like that shiny glass guys uh, i'm just gonna remove it from this side let me peel it yeah looks like that shiny glass or something like that but guys uh, this is actually glass stick a mixture of glass and plastic so that's what it is we have the quad camera set up uh, the main is a 64 megapixel with a sony sensor this time and front uh, camera is supposed to be 32 and i have to say they did something right i thought it would be a brick and be total total heavy but uh, the weight balance is nice but anyways let's look at the weight i'm also curious so 212 grams not bad i would say because i've seen uh, phones uh, having even just 5000 milliamp hour uh, battery weighing a lot more than 215 grams so whatever they did uh, they did a good thing uh, we'll come back to the device later and um, uh, it's a good thing that it's a type c charger so type c to type c and uh, this is the 25 watt fast charger that is bundled in the box and samsung claims about you can charge this uh, one uh, fully in about 115 minutes with this 25 watt charger i'm glad they gave the fast charger so that's what we get in the box so let's keep these things to the side and uh, let's look at this device itself uh, it's having a 6.7 inch screen and it's supposed to be super amulet plus screen and you might ask what is this plus uh, this plus is uh, 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 especially used on this device uh, Samsung says uh, uh, it's uh, basically thinner and lighter than regular super amulet so that's what it is anyways uh, here if we go we do have a secondary noise cancellation microphone so that's nice and uh, here we have the uh, volume rocker and uh, this is the power button come the fingerprint scanner on this one uh, bottom will be your speaker your type c port uh, 3.5 mm headphone jack and your sim uh, slot let's just open this up and see i hope it has a triple slot yeah uh, so we do have a triple slot so that's actually nice uh, but as I've told you, uh, both models come with 128 gigabytes of storage. Back that quad camera setup. Anyways, and front is supposed to be 32. Let's just try to power this on. And guys, by the time it actually boots up and I set it up, here is a configuration overview. The Samsung Galaxy M51 is having a 6.7 inch Super AMOLED Plus screen. It's a full HD Plus screen. And uh, it's powered by the Snapdragon 730G. Comes in six or eight gigabytes of RAM. Storage will be 128. Uh, it has a quad rear facing camera. The main camera is a 64 megapixel. Uh, so Sony IMX 682 then we have a 12 megapixel that's ultra wide then we have a 5 megapixel for depth and 5 megapixel for macro moving to the front facing camera is a 32 megapixel and it has that massive 7000 milliamp hour battery with 25 watt fast charger so guys I've set up the device so let's have a closer look at the same now and as you can see it's having that 6.7 inch uh, screen now uh, with that uh, infinity o punch hole that uh, we say and uh, it's surprising to see that they have NFC on this one so NFC is there so that's actually an nice thing and apart from that it even has Dolby Atmos and 
other stuff as you can see uh, music share is also there on this one and uh, always on is also there and uh, the fingerprint scanner is here the power button and the fingerprint scanner is here so let's see i put it on standby and if you just tap this actually it unlocks but you can even press this as you can once press i close it if i press it and leave it also it unlocks so it's like that always on i feel uh, you have to enable it in the display settings as you can see here uh, i think so there might be an option to enable it somewhere over here let's go here let's search for always on always on yes always on uh, it's tap to show so show always if you do that you will be able to hopefully see it yes as you can see always on is there and uh, again as this is having that massive 7000 milliamp power battery they also say that uh, you can use it this like a power bank to charge other devices for example let's try that uh, so this is the uh, usb type c cable that came i'm just going to put it here and let's bring another device and let's see if it charges And yes, as you can see, it started charging this. So you can definitely actually uh, charge other devices with this one. So that's actually nice because it has that massive 7000 milliamp hour battery. And that Snapdragon 730G uh, processor is very efficient. So I would say even most users should get around two or two plus days worth of battery life on uh, this one uh, so that's what it is and uh, again it's having an amulet screen so the blacks look really inky black and of course samsung apps google apps are pre-installed facebook is installed some samsung stuff is there and if we go over here some junk is installed as you can see candy crush all those things snapchat was there daily hunt is there let's see if we can uninstall some of the junk apps yes as you can see daily hunt I was able to remove it so you can uninstall some of the junk that is actually pre-installed but let's see how much storage do we get i haven't installed anything yet it's just doing its uh, updates as you can see over here and if we go to storage uh, device care it will be here storage uh, about uh, uh, what do you say 104.8 gigabytes of space will be available to you uh, so that's regarding the storage but i feel storage should not be an issue because we do have that dedicated micro sd card slot on this one so let's just uh, move back over here and uh, Again, this a typical Samsung UI that you're getting. If you go to about the phone and if you go to software information, uh, One UI version 2.1 and Android version is 10 on this one. So that's what we have. So this is typical stuff that we have. Now let's also look at the camera. It's a quad camera setup. Main camera is a 64 megapixel. Then we have a 12 megapixel that's ultra wide. Uh, then we also have five megapixel for macro and five megapixel for depth so let's fire up the camera and uh, let's see so it gives you help a couple of modes and all those things again tap to focus is there and you can adjust the exposure from here and directly jump to the wide angle actually it's very wide 123 as you can see and because of this uh, what do you say uh, Snapdragon 730G it's very fast and uh, I'm happy to see, uh, say that we have that single take also and uh, this is uh, was generally found in the higher end phone so you just do a single go like this and move on it takes multiple shots and you just move for like this so I think so it takes about seven or nine photographs in three videos so with a single uh, stuff you get uh, a lot of for example let's see in gallery uh, uh, I love I have to I love, as you can see it took multiple shots for example even video and uh, other static shots also so this is great wide angle everything it takes in a single so again this is great for uh, important events uh, so that single take option is there I think so it works even with the front facing camera yes for front facing camera also it's there so nice to see again video we have and more uh, so we have pro mode also on this one macro of course yes and you can drag guys from here i think if you want the mode over here you can drag it and save it here and now as you can see the macro comes and yes of course you can go very close with the same anyways i'll just revert back to the regular one and let's look at the uh, front facing camera so this is the default front facing camera 
and it can go slightly wider also so that's nice actually as you can see so we have that and we also have the single take so let me do one thing let me actually take some sample shots with this one so that you have a better idea regarding the camera so these were shot with the rear facing camera that's the 64 megapixel shooter and as you can see the pictures come out really good it adds a little bit of vibrancy but uh, as you can see the pictures look actually really good and even in the wide angle it's good and i would say the camera produces some very good pictures as you can see with the sample shot this was the macro shot again regular macro one more macro shot and moving to human subjects also if you noticed the pictures have been produced very well even in the regular portrait and even in the ultra wide mode now moving to the front facing camera the 32 megapixel produced some very good results by default there is some skin smoothing so i would suggest you disable that and here are some of the samples taken in artificial lighting in my office and here also i would say definitely that 64 megapixel uh, sensor is doing a good job recording this video with the front facing camera of the samsung galaxy m51 and guys as you can see i'm just walking around so this should give you an idea how is the video recording with the front facing camera of this m50 one and the audio is also being recorded via its internal microphone so guys that's it for now for the unboxing and first look at the samsung galaxy m51 so what do you guys think about this smartphone with that massive 7000 milliamp hour battery do let me know in the comment section below anyways guys that's it for now thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video take care guys